Hello everyone, this is Lydia. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize this Lori Whitlock airplane slider card in Design Space. So I'll go to Images, and I'm going to filter to Uploaded, because this is an image that I uploaded, and I tagged it with Airplane. So it pops right up, and all the images are in one file, which is really handy. And I also uploaded the picture for my reference, so I'm going to insert both of those into the design space. Now, since SVGs made by outside designers have to be formatted to work in different programs, there'll be some adjustments that you'll need to make once the project is on the canvas in design space. Let's hide that for now. And this, this card, uh, it comes in one big group, and so I'm going to ungroup it. And one thing to note is that outside files will usually have score lines that are dashed cut lines. Um, and these lines will need to be attached. Uh, they are often already grouped. So I just select that group and attach it. The other option is to delete the dash score line and replace it with a uh, score line from the shapes panel and uh, the, your Cricut can score it with the scoring stylus or the scoring wheel. Now, and it's important to remember that dash cut lines will look better with solid core cardstock. So I've, since I've gotten this far, I need to save my project. So I'm gonna put LW for Lori Whitlock and airplane slider card. So I don't wanna lose any of my work. This project does come with an envelope included, but I have quite a few uh, A2 envelopes uh, in my stash, so I'm just going to hide that envelope for now. Okay, the slider piece. Let's bump this up a little bit. Um, this is the piece that actually does the sliding, and it has two pieces. Uh, you glue this one to this one to make it a little bit stronger. Um, the, it has some dashed scoring lines on these flaps, and I'm not, uh, I don't think they're really necessary, and I'm afraid they might weaken uh, the cardstock there. So I'm going to go over here to the, the layers panel and delete those scoring lines. So the next thing that I'm going to do is the pull tab it needs to be flattened for print and cut. So I'll just select that whole thing and flatten. I will lose my dashed uh, scoring line there, but it's so small, it's really not a big deal. This piece uh, is used in all the other cards in this series, but it's not used in this one, so I think it may have been included by mistake. I'll just delete it. So now I'm going to uh, deal with the plane. Um, the plane I want to match somewhat the livery of my uh, brother-in-law's uh, airline. So it's, of course, in one big group. It's a lot of different pieces. Um, so I'll ungroup that. And it takes a minute because it's so many pieces. And I want to grab these windows first, and they are a little bit tricky. Um, I'm going to make them uh, gray, but and that's the gray of the wings, but I'm going to make them a little bit lighter gray. So I'm going to go down here and adjust that just a touch and make them a little bit lighter gray. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want these tail pieces to be blue. Um, so I'll select and the they are part of a group of the with the larger wing pieces. So I'll select that uh, and duplicate them. And I'll go into contour, and I'll get rid of the big pieces, I'll hide them. And then I'm going to take these and turn them blue. And just, I'm gonna put them on top here because it's not going to matter uh, once this is all flattened. Um, the next thing is I want this fuselage to be, this red fuselage to be white. There it is. I'll just find it and turn it white. Okay, now it's all ready to go. So I can select it 
and flatten it. Perfect. I'm not going to use this. Uh, the sentiment is included, um, but I won't use it for this card, so I'll just hide it. Um, and I've made several changes. I'll go up and save. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is insert some written text on the this light blue piece. And I know that I know which font I want to use. I'll filter to writing. Uh, and this font is called Dusty Spurs. It's a fairly new uh, new font added to Cricut Access. Obviously, that's way too big. I'll just put it right there. And it's we'll select that, select the card piece, and attach. Now, my next thing here, make this a little bit smaller, uh, is the uh, card base. Now, the way it is right now, it is this is the front. This bottom part here is the front. This light blue part will go on top there. I want to write on the inside of the card though. So I'll just select it and I can flip it vertically. Now I'm looking at the inside of the card base. Uh, so I'm going to zoom back in just a, just a bit and insert some more written text. It remembers what text I used last time. I'm going to make do that in silver metallic and change the color on here so that the Cricut will remind me, the Design Space software will remind me that I need to change that. So this has got to be a lot smaller, so I'll just make it five inches right now. Actually, that's going to be just right. So it's already selected. I'll hold down the shift key select the card base, and attach. So now I am ready to make it. I hit make it. Here's my print and cut. Two pieces for print and cut. My white layer, my light blue layer. Notice it says draw then cut. So it's going to write the sentiment, then it'll cut it out. Same thing here on this, the card base. I've got all the pieces cut out and I'm going to show you a few tips about assembling this card. Lori Whitlock's video is really good and I recommend you watch that too. I'll show you how I did it and maybe it will be helpful. There are two slider pieces that are stacked together to make this a little bit stronger. I'm using quarter inch double sided tape. Half inch would be ideal, but I don't have any of that on hand. On the pull tab, I chose not to do the dash score line, so I'm going to use my score buddy to make a nice crease in it. Next, I'll take the pull tab. I've already put the glue dots on this one. I'll put two of the small glue dots on each side, and I save the backing from those glue dots for a later step. So I'll just take the pull tab and put it on the end of the slider. The next thing is to put this slider on the card. I'll flip up the little tabs and thread them through the slots on the card. Flip the card over and give them a gentle tug to make sure they are all the way through and then fold the tabs out. Take the tiny little rectangle and glue it on. I'm using the backing pieces from my glue dots to put underneath the tabs to keep any excess glue off the card. I use this zig glue pin, which is great for tiny things like this. The glue is blue, so it's easy to see. It doesn't have to be exactly straight or pretty because this is going to get covered up.
While that's drying, I'll work on the embellishments. This is the print and cut plane. I put some glossy accents on the windows to give them a little shine and dimension. I'll put a link in my blog post to where you can buy it. It's a fun thing to use on little card projects. I also inked the edges of the clouds very lightly with blue ink. I used an inexpensive ink from Michaels. It's time to attach the front of the card to the base. I already put the quarter inch double sided tape on there. Again, half inch would be ideal, but this is just what I had in my stash. I'll make sure to line it up with the notch on the card base. I'll check to make sure the slider is moving okay. Once the front is attached, I can put the clouds on. I already put medium sized glue dots on the back of these, except for one of them, and I'm going to put a foam square on the back to make it pop a little bit more. I used a half inch foam square on this. I'm putting it towards the top to make sure it's not in the flight path of our little plane. The last thing is to attach the plane. I'm using quarter inch foam squares. I like this package that comes with the half inch and quarter inch sizes. I'll stick those to the little rectangle and then take the uh, top piece off and stick the plane to the card. I fold it on the cut score line. I use solid core cardstock so when I fold this and it has these dash cuts on here you don't see white. It's blue all the way through. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give me a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.